Get your biggest wok and turn on the stove because Dream is now gonna get cooked once again on the sequel of Dream is Growing Miners. This vape looking motherfucker is actually now a pedo too. Saying how he's gonna suck on her neck and uh, blah blah blah, a lot of weird shit over there. So apparently now there is a third victim named Jamie. Uh, there was also Anastasia and whoever that burner 22 account was. I mean, man, this guy uh, pulls more children than EDP. I was just recording uh, about a couple of minutes ago when Dream released this stupid ass one hour video responding. And that's in air quotes. And uh, honestly, this whole video is pretty shitty. I mean, not gonna lie, it just uh, fabricates it even more, and he doesn't even explicitly deny it all. Honestly, this is uh, pretty fucking depressing, if you ask me. It's uh, it's uh, not good. It's uh, not good at all. It's actually uh, not poggers, if you could say. Uh. On the new Twitter account of Dreamscaper, which is actually uh, with the victim of Jamie... Also, with the Burner22 account releasing some stuff, like how Dream has a uh, second account, uh, which is pretty weird. He says that in the video that it's for his personal friends, but honestly, it's still kind of odd to me. His first response to all this hullabaloo is this short little paragraph saying, I'm not a pedo, I don't groom anyone that's being shred in a particular instance is black and white. Which, uh, what I gotta say to that is honestly this. Shut your ass up! To be serious, Dream's quote-quote evidence was nothing compared to what the victims have given the evidence of a 24-page document on Google's Docs. The doc talks about what we were talking about in the previous video, by the way, link in description, along with this doc too. And, uh, yeah, it talks a lot about what the previous uh, shit was going on, uh, including a lot of the problems with the screenshots and the nasty, nasty shit. Like Dream moaning like he's in a Pornhub scene to the girl, aka the victim. It also goes over how Dream also had this as an actual uh, Snapchat account, aka uh, Dream Dream. Although that was just what uh, the girl had called her, him on the Snapchat account. It talks about the girl's age and how Burner22 said that it was 16 to 17 years old. There's no concrete evidence that she was over 18. Uh, but Dream could have been unaware of her age. Yeah, I'm just reading from this part. Also, the video could have been found from somebody else. The following discoveries have been but on, uh, beyond reasonable doubt. Also, there are some tweets from Jamie on the bottom part. It also seems to me that Dream removed a lot of the shit that was going on before, considering that maybe it was just stuff to hide as maybe legal things. Bum bum bum. Yeah, uh, yeah, this shit is just a lot. You can just... Uh, go down the description and look at the docket yourself, but um, he is also shown here, so just keep reading or pause it and read it. Um, these parts will go by a little quicker. There is some evidence out in the doc too that seems like she was also in school at the time of talking to a dream, who at the time was 21 years old, maybe around 24. And, uh, yeah, it seems pretty odd. She might still be in college, so... Yeah, this is definitely evidence that Dream might be a predator. What this man thinks he did is, uh, equivalent of a silly goof. A prank, a, a trick, a little joke. But, uh, honestly, it is not that. It is 
horrifying to know that. That another Minecraft YouTuber would even stoop to this kind of a low again. Kind of like Mini Lad, kind of like Ice Poseidon. It's a, it's a really big problem in the Minecraft community, honestly. I mean, loads of weirdos, predators, pedos, whatever you may call it. It's all wrong. It seems like what started it all was this tweet from Jamie uh, said in French uh, with the post of art that Dream commented and she replied on. Dreamscape, one of the three victims that I talked about previously, had released a lot of information about Dream's whole uh, grooming problem with the uh, minors. Pause this, read the tweet, uh, it's honestly just recapped of the doc, but pretty much, uh, old 24 page doc that, uh, Dreamscape, uh, given. I just want to say, uh, thank you to Dreamscaper for sharing that information about Dream's problem of grooming minors. Honestly, it's a better thing to see it. It also seems like Jamie was pretty bothered by all of the shit happening and i have to wonder was this caused by dream did it actually cause her to be afraid of shit or be traumatized because of him grooming her and knowing that she was getting groomed by him but didn't want to say anything it's a it's a pretty interesting thing um the say at least, I mean, this might even prove how much of a disgusting monster Dream really is. I mean, it makes sense because his fandom is filled with a lot of, uh, let's just say, rather uh, special people, um, if I could say it myself. Uh, it, yeah, it's just really, really sad, honestly. It's a really sad and dark thing to go through, and I feel bad for Jamie. Uh, so to cap all of this off, like I said before, Dream is a honestly disgusting person who does not deserve any type of sympathy or any shit like that. Um, also, I want to thank everybody for the 1k views on my last Dream is a Groomer video. Honestly, did not think this would go anywhere. I wanted to make this because, well, I hate pedos and groom. And uh, I also wanted to share uh, what a monster like Dream was doing and how this could also affect a lot of people uh, in the future. Honestly, uh, moral of the story, don't be a fucking groomer. And that's all I have for you today. See ya. All this fucking honking is making my fucking ass hurt. It he has the posture of a shrimp. My uncle got hit by a truck back in 07. <laughs>